Spaceport America was built with New Mexico money. It was built with tax bond money. So we're incredibly grateful to the people of New Mexico for their um, insight, for their um, forward leaning into the future, for their, their belief that this commercial space industry um, will happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Uh, it is emerging, space is hard, it takes a little longer than probably any of us would like, but that's the nature of the business. And so we're incredibly grateful for the people of New Mexico for allowing us to deliver this product to them. You know, as a native New Mexican, Spaceport America gets me excited. It's launching a new innovation, a new future for the world and New Mexico. You know, Spaceport America is really a representation of our future. And there's no better future to be captured than in the next generation. So students, of all ages, whether it's elementary school, all the way up to those recent college graduates. I look forward to having you come out here to Spaceport America and help launch that next innovation. Hi, my name is Ryan Noble, and I serve as General Counsel to Spaceport America. My career has taken me all over America, and one of the things I find most inspiring about the native New Mexicans of Doña Ana and Sierra counties is their passion and participation in their local government. My advice to anyone who's interested in space, in science, in technology, is to find that passion early in life, find ways to expose yourself to the cool and exciting fields that exist in science and technology at a young age. Spaceport America offers a tremendous opportunity to inspire the next generation. Uh, whether students want to go into rocket science or space or some other technology field, I think it's a place where they can really get motivated about the future. Um, I know our Gateway Gallery, for example, um, does have things that will talk to them about um, being a rocket scientist or being an aerospace engineer, but it also talks about other professions too, about being an architect, about being a, a, a developer of uh, buildings, um, you know, about being an IT specialist, about being a firefighter. Uh, you know, so we have all different professions um, represented over there and all represented in a very unique and exciting way. My name is Aaron Prescott. I'm the Director of Business Development for Spaceport America. My job is to develop partnerships with new customers, new tenants, new users and suppliers, and anyone who is able to help Spaceport America live up to its economic potential for New Mexico. We no longer need to be selected as a national astronaut to go to space. Now we just need a ticket. And that's just the beginning. It's not about rich people going to space. It's about opening a new frontier. I, I think, you know, Spaceport America is unique. We like to say it's the world's first purpose-built spaceport. And I think that's one of the things that really does set us apart. I, I think we're very fortunate here at Spaceport America because we have some of the premier companies in, in, uh, in emerging commercial space. We have Virgin Galactic, we have SpaceX, we have Up Aerospace. Hello, my name is Doreen Seberg, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer, protecting your investment at Spaceport America. This is a fantastic place to work. I was extremely excited when the position became available so that I could be part of history. We have a number of programs here at Spaceport America. One program in particular that's been very popular is uh, what we call a virtual classroom. We coordinate with a teacher. Um, she selects a classroom of students and, and we uh, Skype into them basically and they can ask us any questions they want. We invite our crew members from Spaceport America. We invite our tenants crew members also to participate. So the kids really get an opportunity to dialogue with people that are working here at Spaceport America and to see what it's like.